expired na. Sure ako that at least once in your life, a skincare product or cosmetic expired before you got to finish it. And sa totoo lang, napanghinayang talaga. Especially if it's something that you really like or something na medyo mahal. But don't worry, you're not alone. That's why in this video, ang pag-uusapan natin is all about skincare product expiry. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Gator Bedovitas, a board-certified dermatologist. I try my best to post one video a week on YouTube all about skin and skincare. And I'm also on Instagram posting similar things about the skin. Let's start by talking about what expiry dates in a product label mean. All products will expire or degrade regardless kung merong mga nakalagay na expiry date or wala sa label. An expiry date tells us of a product's shelf life. According to the US FDA, shelf life generally refers to, and I quote, the length of time you can expect a product to look and act as expected and to stay safe for use, unquote. In skincare products, this can mean how long an active ingredient is expected to be potent and to work at full capacity whether the product is opened or not. Now, this length of time, iba-iba siya. Depending on the type of product or ingredient, kung paano mo siya ginagamit, and how it is stored. Apart from that, there are also other factors to consider like what preservatives were used, product's exposure to moisture, light, heat, temperature changes, and even the packaging. Now, once you open a product, it starts to get exposed to microbes that can accumulate and grow in them. This is why most skincare products and even makeup will have the period after opening symbol or the PAO. It looks like an open jar with a number and a letter M that comes after it. Now, the PAO is different from your expiry date. The PAO gives us an idea or you might say even a recommendation of how long we should be using the product once we open it. So for example, if you see a 6M, this means that you should consume your product six months after opening it. This is especially true and important in skincare products that contain ingredients that are known to degrade or deteriorate with time even if they're contained in the best packaging. So example would be your L-ascorbic acid or your vitamin C. So pagdating sa skincare, sabi nga nila, nothing lasts forever. To give you a general idea, sabi nila, products that are made of natural and organic compounds and ingredients tend to expire faster versus your synthetic counterparts. Also, some emulsions like your lotions and your creams have a shorter lifespan than your oil-based products or wax-based products and even powders. Those contained in pump bottles, uh, tubes, and aerosol cans last longer than those in jars. And of course, poorly formulated products with cheap ingredients without stabilizers or preservatives are expected to expire more quickly. Now, to answer the question that I think everyone is waiting for, what will happen if I use expired products? For example, you have a product that says on the expiry date, June 30, 2021. It doesn't mean that come July 1, oh my God, it suddenly goes bad and it's 100% ineffective. That's not how it works. In skincare products, expiration dates sort of give us a guarantee of how long an active ingredient can remain potent and effective. But sa totoo lang, the only way to really find out is to test it in a lab. And I'm almost sure that most of us don't really have the means to test them. It is highly likely that your skincare products can work beyond expiry dates, especially if they don't contain, you know, volatile or unstable ingredients. On the other hand, meron pa rin talagang risks in using expired products. So, at best, they just stop working or they don't work as well as they're supposed to. On the flip side, they can also cause allergic reactions or irritant reactions, especially those containing chemicals that break down after a certain period of time. And means and infections in skincare products that are prone to harboring microorganisms. Now, how do I know if a product that I have is expired or not? For example, hindi nakalagay yung expiration date or maybe it was in the box but you threw it away. Now, if your product doesn't contain an expiry date, 
there are telltale signs that can mean it's time for you to throw them away. First, if it smells stale or funky or weird or not like it used to before. Number two, if it changes in color. So if it used to be like white, tapos biglang nagiging greenish na siya or yellowish na siya. Number three is if the texture is not how it used to or if the product starts to separate, especially when using emulsions, like yung mga oil and water combination like creams or lotions. And finally, you see white or greenish spots or clumps on it, which are likely to be mold. So pag ganun, it's time to discard or put away your product. Now knowing all of that, how can we make our products last longer? Unfortunately, para sa ating mga anito sa Pilipinas, our high heat and humidity make for an ideal environment for bacteria to grow. And this can make our skincare products go bad faster. But don't worry, there's still a lot of things we can do to prolong the shelf life of our favorite skincare product. First is to keep them away from direct sunlight, extremes of temperature, and moisture. Rather, store them in a cool, dry place. Second, if your product comes with a cap or a cover, put the cap back on tightly and securely and don't leave your product open. If you accidentally drop your cap on the floor or on your sink, wash with soap and water, dry thoroughly before putting it back on. Number three, make sure that water doesn't get into the container, into the product, as mold can develop over time. Number four, Make sure that your hands are clean when handling a product. And for those that come in jar containers that require you to dip your fingers into the product, I recommend na gumamit kayo ng parang spatula or mini spoon and to limit the amount of time that your hands are in contact with the product. Number five, sa mga products naman that really require contact with our skin, for instance, your lip balms, do not share with others and do not use when you have an infected wound or an open skin to prevent na rin contamination. And lastly, may mga nagtatanong din sa akin ito, do we need to store our products in the fridge? There's no need to put your products in the refrigerator kasi most of them naman are designed and formulated to withstand changes in room temperature. Basta wag lang yung extremes. And yun napansin ko lang kasi when you put your products in the fridge and pag nilalabas mo siya, in and out, in and out, nagkakaroon ng build-up ng moisture and that can add water into the product and container which can promote growth of microbes. And then finally, what if you have a product that you can't remember when you bought it, you just opened it and it smells okay, the color's okay, the texture is okay, paano mo malalaman kung expired siya or hindi or if you can actually still use it? One of the recommendations that I normally tell my patients is to do a patch test, just as you would do a patch test when you're trying out a new skincare product. I have a short clip on that in one of my videos, you can check it out. But normally, I test it on the inner part of my arm or at the back of my ears for a few days and observe mo lang. Um, if no reaction, then most probably it's still good to go, good to use it, and you can use it all over the face. But for me, I would say, Follow your instinct. Sabi nga nila, if in doubt, throw it out. So this ends my short video on product expiry. I hope na nalinawan kayo, especially those who are wondering if they can still use products that have expired recently. Na inspire ko to make this video because I have been asked um, this question to your mga three times in the last two weeks. Also, if you have questions, if you have topics that you want me to discuss, kasi minsan di ko siya naiisip, please feel free to put it on the comments below or send me a private message. I really appreciate it, guys. And if you like my content, if you find this informative, please don't forget to support my channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!